Hi guys, Tom Morrison here, and today we're going to teach you how to assess your own deadlift, and all you need to have is your mobile phone. So, a lot of people give the deadlift a bad name, and generally it comes down to either bad technique or bad flexibility. So, yeah. come on Jenny, let's go. The very first thing that we want to do is record ourselves from a side angle. So we're going to put a magical giant phone on the screen, just so you can see what we see. So very first thing we're looking for is to find Jenny. Whoop. Hi Jenny! So if Jenny starts to go down into your setup and she is struggling with her flexibility, what we'll see is a big rounded back like this and that is a horrible position to lift from. You will be able to get away with it and you probably will find that you're able to lift weights like this and you will get stronger at doing it like this but long term you are going to be banjaxed okay so the spine here is just all rounded there's no real hip engagement we're not looking to see this at all so if you're seeing this when you're lifting no 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 so what you want to be looking for here is that you're able to sit back into your own hips and that is going to lengthen out the spine so there we have a nice position there now People will need to sit down lower, some people will need to be higher, it all depends on you, but if your knees are pushing the bar away from you and you try and lift like that, you're going to be going around your knees and that puts a lot of stress on the lower back, okay? So as soon as the bar starts to go away from you, all of that stress goes in the lower back from there. So make sure you're not doing that. That will work with a hex bar, but it will not work with a straight bar, okay? So we need to have the shins as vertical as we can so that we're sitting into the lift and getting good angles. Other things that we don't want to see. So say you set up with your bum quite low, and then as you go to lift, your hips shoot up. That is going to mess up your lift, okay? So that's something to start toying around with. If you cannot maintain a flat back position whenever you lift, that is a big no-no, and we don't want to see that. So if you're struggling, if we go back to the first one, so if you're trying to go down to grab the bar, and your back's rounded, and you can't send your hips back to straighten everything out, so if Jenny sends her hips back to straighten things out, and pulls herself back down into position, if you can't do that, that's a flexibility problem. And I wouldn't just stretch your hamstrings for this, I would check your hip flexion. So the deep lunge test is a really good one for that to check out. So that is our side angle. The next thing we want to think about is muscle engagement. So even though Jenny right now is in a good position, if she just lifts from there, it's okay. Her back stands straight, but it could be better. So she can, you can see, I can see there that she's not really feeling her hamstrings that much. So what we want to be doing there is finding a way that we can get her hamstrings to work. So if Jenny shoots the hips up a little bit, and then uses the bar, takes tension of the bar and pulls herself back into position, sits into the lift. Then she's gonna feel her hips more and she's gonna feel her hamstrings more. Awesome. That's what we wanna be seeing there, okay? So if you're just lifting and just maintaining a flat back, you'll only get so far with that. And if you haven't set up properly, what you'll probably see is if Jenny just goes down and just doesn't engage her hamstrings, you'll see that the lower back will round, okay? Make it really obvious, Jenny. So what you'll see is just the lower back will go first. Boom, you see that? So lower back goes first, boom. We don't want to see that at all. You've lost position, your spine's starting to move and if you're under load, very, very dangerous. So we don't want to be seeing that. So that is all the things you want to be checking from your side angle. Then we have hi, the front angle. And best thing about this stuff is you don't even need to have a friend. So if you're lonely and trained by yourself like me, what you can do is just get a dumbbell. Whoop. Set a dumbbell up in front of yourself and then Set your phone up and for yourself. And now we can assess, hi Jenny, the front angle. So from here, what we want to see is symmetry. So whenever Jenny's going through her deadlift, we want to see everything going up nice and straight and everything coming together like that. Big things that you can check from the front angle would be the likes of imbalances. So if Jenny was to have an issue with her um, lateral hip movement or rotation, what we would see would be maybe rotating as she lifts the bar like that. That is not going to be great for your back, especially because everything's twisting there. The spine is generally what's going to suffer from this. What we want to see is that everything's straight like we have done before. The other thing could be that you're really dominant to one side, okay, and that will make you push off to one side. And this is stuff that you'll see happening around one rep max time. If this is things that, if, if you're seeing this happening with lighter weights, big, big, big no-no. You want to make sure that you correct those imbalances and make sure that you're not doing any of this stuff because as you get stronger, these are the things that are gonna come back to bite you injury-wise. So make sure that you're seeing good symmetry whenever you're deadlifting. So if you're finding any of these things are happening to you, what we wanna be doing is going over to tommorrison.uk and having a look at what we can find, tommorrison.uk. 
then you'll see the website. Very first thing you want to be doing is checking out Tom Morrison Facts. So if you just go to Tom Morrison Facts, you'll see a T junction actually stands for a Tom Morrison junction. Generate fact. Tom Morrison once did a handstand for 100 hours. That's definitely true. Jenny seen that. Okay, so <laughs> if you actually want to get a program that will help you out with that, go to our shop and then you will see that we have the simplistic mobility method. And then also if you want more technique work on your barbells, you've got Barbell Basics, two very, very good programs to get together. Simplistic mobility method will help to teach you all of the stuff that you need to correct any of the things if you're seeing those twists or turns or struggling to get into the position. And once you get it, you'll be able to log in and then you'll be able to see the program straight away. So you'll get an email link with a password and then that'll be, you'll be in and you'll be able to see everything. Bum, 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 straight off the bat. So very, very important to make sure that you're assessing your own deadlift, film from the side, film from the front, look for those imbalances, make sure you're getting those good positions, make sure you're sitting into the lift and make your deadlifts feel awesome for you and be ruthless with your technique.